So this is what I should have done before. Um, I just measured everything, mapped it out, and here are the important dimensions that I'm going to worry about for the next cut. So I've removed all this material and measured every dimension on the piece and figured out how much I can cut in and what thicknesses will remain. So the width of this, 1.361. If I leave a sixteenth on each side, that's 1.361 plus 125. That's this dimension here. So I'm going to turn this down, this fat part here, I'm going to turn down to 1.486. And it's 0.3465 from the top down to this surface. And I I don't want to go, actually I, I could go, uh, yeah, actually that's what I'll do. I'll cut this down to 1.486, which is a little bigger than this, a little bigger than this down to this surface, so I'll have a sixteenth of an inch here. Actually, let's just, let's just say that's to here, a sixteenth of an inch. And then later, I'll taper this down, so this is about a sixteenth of an inch or so. Um, but I, I could even leave that a little bit thicker, and it'll just come in a little bit here. Um, but turn this down to 1.46, 1.46 down to a depth of 0.3465, which is to this surface. Then, if I do that and limit it to that, I know I won't cut into these corners here, which is what I did in my first piece. Then, and I can't end up making making this much bigger diameter, because then my cap won't fit. So I'm going to cut it down to one and a quarter, which is a quarter inch bigger than I had it before one and a quarter and then the cap I'll leave it the one and three quarters and I'll cut out the interior so it can fit around this screw onto this so I'll leave it one and three quarters um, other than just a, a clean up pass on the outside so one and a quarter is small enough that I can make a cap out of my stock and I'll turn that down to a depth of a quarter inch so from the top down to this surface is 0.3465 and I'll bring I'll turn it down to this diameter down to uh, 250 thousandths so my cap will fit on here but it'll leave a little meat down here so I don't again so I don't cut into this corner that's the main thing alright so this diameter to this depth and then this diameter to a depth of a quarter inch. That's what I'll do with my new piece of metal here. Hopefully this one works out better. I don't want you getting all stressed out and screaming at your computer. Alright, so now I've got a line to 3465 and I'll also use the dial on my carriage, my carriage feed dial so I've got the line plus the carriage feed dial to both verify that I go to the right spot here and I want to cut it to a diameter of 1.361 plus an eighth of an inch 1.486 so I'm going to readjust this, 1.486, so there's 1.486, and let's see here, yeah, so that's, uh, that's about a quarter inch off of each side. Or no, about an eighth of an inch off of each side. Uh, right, okay, that makes sense, right? That's my first pass. I was going to say, that's hardly big enough to put the cap on, but then I'm going to take another pass down to one and a quarter. All right, so down to one to 1.486. So, right, so that is... Uh, about 125 
thousandths off of each side, which is about 125 thousandths feeding in on my cross side. So I'm going to touch off on this face, which is less critical because I have this line, and then I'll touch off on this face, which is more important, so I don't go too deep here. And I'll go in 125 thousandths just a little more than 125 thousandths. That'll get me down to 1.486. Alright, I think I've got it. I think I'm I think I'm on the right track here. Alright, now I'll set the uh, carriage dial to zero. There's zero. And let's come out, come in here, and I'll go in and touch off here, and zero out the cross slide dial. Oh, and it's pretty much on zero anyway. Alright, oops, I meant to do this, but that's okay. All right, there's zero. Let's uh, come in 20 thousandths. All right, that's zero. So I'm in 20 thousandths on the cross slide. I'm at zero on the carriage. And we want to feed in 34.65 on the carriage. Okay, that should be a hundred. Two hundred. The numbers are actually pretty grand or pretty uh, coarse on the carriage. Three hundred. And then I'm, I can only estimate. Uh, let's see. Three ten, twenty, thirty. 40. All right, good. So I'm looking at the line and the carriage. So I'm basically going 3,500 on the. Uh, I'm basically going 3,500 instead of 34.65. I think that's okay. Alright, so that's 20 thousandths. 30, 40 thousandths. It's coming into 35 or 350 on the dial. That's 40 thousandths. All right, now I want to do about 125 thousandths on each side. So, good. Still have plenty to go. So there's 60 thousandths. I'm back at zero now. It seems like it cuts quite a lot off when I'm backing up the carriage. That's 60. That's 80. I'm sure I could take much bigger cuts here, but I'm a little timid now. To be a little more careful. Three hundred and fifty. That's 80, 90, 100, actually, so I'm just going to do 40 thousandths this time, so that's 120 thousandths, and I want to go 
a little more than 125, so this should be fine. This is a 40,000 cut, twice as big as the last ones. Ow, the little tiny chips are hot. Now I'm going to do more than just hold this up here. I'm actually going to measure. So I want 1.486. I can't even see it. Let's see. I know you can't either, sorry. One point. 523. So, uh, just a sec. Okay, I've got my calculator, so I'm at, so I want it to set down 120, and I want it, let's see. 0.75 minus 1.486. So I want to do 264 diameter. Let's divide that by 2. So I want to do 132 thousandths cut. I've done 120. So I need to do 12 thousandths more. So I need to turn the dial on the cross line another 12 thousandths. Let's go 10. And then I'm going to measure again. There's ten thousandths. There's three fifty. Bring it back slow to take off whatever it wants to take off on that kind of a spring pass. All right, now there should be two thousandths left, so it should be like uh, 1.488. Okay, it's still 1.502, so it's not quite right. 502. Minus 46. So 16 thousandths diameter, so another 8 thousandths cut. I'm going to come in 5 thousandths. I should be within a couple thousandths of 1.486. I'm 1.493. So that's seven, seven thousandths. Or 1.492. So that's six thousandths. All right, I'll come in and, oh, you know what? I think last time I just went in five thousandths, not ten thousandths. So that, expl <laughs> that explains it. I only went five instead of ten. So let's do another five. There's five. Yeah, I didn't come in ten, I came in five. That's why I was so far off on that measurement. couple thousands, I think, within two thousands. I want 1.486. Uh, let's see here. 
I'm one point, no, oh, so I'm right up against the shoulder here. I keep getting different measurements, but if I come up right against the shoulder, one point four eighty eight or so. So that's perfect. That's exactly what I thought. Four. Let me double check. One point four eighty eight. I want 486, which is exactly what I thought. So I'm 2,000 shy. So what's happening is what I expected based on how I'm turning these dials here. So then I'll do two more thousandths. That should be my final cut here. And I'm watching the dial here. Going to 350 every time, which is a tiny more than I was going to do, but the dial doesn't go precise enough to go 3465. So I'm taking off like a three and a half thousandths deeper cut than I was going to. All right, so this should be 1.486. It's not not precise. Huh. Oh, huh. You know, I was I wanted to take off two thousandths diameter, but I, I brought the cross light in two thousandths, so that took off four thousandths diameter. So I'm at one point forty three. Uh, I still think that's okay. Alright. Now what I want to do is so that's zero. So now I want to come in a quarter inch and bring it down to one and a quarter. So I'll be taking off about 250 thousandths. So let me uh, get a zero. So I need to take reduced diameter by a quarter inch. So I need to come in 125 thousandths and I'm still at zero right there on the face. And that needs to go in a quarter inch. So there's 40 thousandths. Two hundred and fifty. And I'm just looking at the dial. Sixty. So that's sixty thousandths total. There's sixty thousandths on the cross slide, so it's hundred and twenty thousandths reduction in diameter. Two hundred fifty thousandths. Just looking at the uh, carriage dial. All right, we need to cut a hundred, just over one hundred and twenty-five. So I've cut sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, a hundred. Two fifty on the dial. Uh, that's two full revolutions on the dial, that's 120, so that's a reduction in diameter of 240, which is definitely less than I need to cut. 250 on the dial, bring it back, now I'm going to take a measurement. Alright, so two full turns, it's 60 thousandths per turn. Two full turns on the cross slide, that's 120 thousandths. So 240 
reduction in diameter. It needs to be slightly more than that. But my 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 goal for the diameter is one and a quarter inches. So let's see what I'm down to. Ha! All right. Well, it's a good thing I stopped. But everything's okay. One and well, let me lock this thing. Alright, so again, I was probably a little bit impatient. Alright, that's okay. Alright, so now I'm going to stop. So the cap will come on here, I'll thread this, the cap will fit on there. I need to hollow this out in here, and then I'll taper this later on down to this shoulder. No deeper than this shoulder. Taper will come down to this shoulder, cap will screw on here, this gets hollowed out. And that's my whistle.